Hello MacWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to another episode of MacWarrior 5 Mercenaries. We have a lot of building to do today. We have a Raven that I want to refit. We have a Blackjack that I want to bring to life. And I think I also want to get the Assassin online. So let's go ahead and take a look at the star map. Is there any good contract here, by the way? I mean, uh, attack and defend is so hard. I don't think I can play it with the squad that we have right now. Also, we are kind of damaged. So you know what? I think... Uh, I there's an exploration still that we should probably play as well. Hmm. I do wonder if we can play the tier 42 missions with the new mechs that are coming online. That would be very, very interesting. How are we looking in terms of cantina? We have no cantina jobs. So we're gonna make a little detour onto Pojos and, you know, grab some more cantina jobs so we can get some more passive money. And then we're gonna go north and go, go to an industrial hub and build our mechs. That's the plan for today. And we're gonna come back and, and seek some trouble. That's the plan. Okay. So, Cantina tells me I should collect jump jets. Easy peasy. Kill Igor. Yeah, we've seen some of them already. Collect Cicada. Interesting. I could do that to get a million C bills plus some reputation and, you know, a light rifle tier 4. I will accept. Yes. All right. We're gonna turn in our cicada and uh, have a good time with that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead. Go to Victoria. I think that, that sounds good. Let's let's be victorious here. Let's do it. All right. So lots of time is being spent now, but it's actually totally fine. So again, we can turn in our cicada already, but I'm not gonna do it yet because I want to get the goodies out of it before we do that. So I think. The only goodie that's in here, by the way. That's got 20% 20, 20 PPC cooldown. That's not bad. Uh, and a 10% weapon cooldown modifier. I don't think I'm gonna run it, though. The engine is way too oversized. If anything, I would probably drop the uh, medium laser, the core. Keep the machine guns in there. It's only eight days. And then we're gonna sell that thing. We're gonna turn it in. I don't think it's a good chassis for what we are doing now. All right, so that's uh, that's the start of a rebuild. Speaking of rebuild, I want to get rid of the large laser. This is an all medium laser build. Oh, we could give it short burst lasers. Yeah, baby. Make this guy a bit faster in its attack pattern. Max the armor. Very important here. I think I can get rid of a little bit of head armor so that we have an even number in terms of tonnage. Now we got two tons left. Um. I'd say SRM ammo goes in the leg. I think engine-wise we are perfectly fine. So we don't really need to change any anything uh, like that. Weapon heat generation is about 3. Our cooling is only 1.2, so that's a bottleneck. And yes, we have some doubles, but we don't have the double heat sink kit yet. So I'm gonna just slap some singles on the guy and I think we're good to go. Yeah, maxed out armor feels so much better on the little raven. Standard laser range enhancement. That's good. These... Oh, wait. Are these considered standard lasers? They are, they are short burst lasers, right? Wanna check that real quick. So we can compare these in the in the storage and then in the mech. Um, because the mech uh, lasers will have the quirks applied to them. It says maximum range 540. This says maximum range 675. Yeah, totally, totally worth it. So I believe the standard laser range uh, only applies or also applies to these. Probably not to chemicals, probably not to pulses. I think that's the thing. Or extended ER lasers. I think ER lasers and pulse lasers are the things that will not uh, uh, take advantage here. Good. Good chunk of single heat sinks. I could drop the SRM-6 to an SRM-4. And get even better cooling for more sustain. Mm. We'd save a ton. We would save a ton. And we would save a little bit of heat generation, because a 4 is a little bit less uh, uh, hot than the 6. I guess I want to do it, but I don't like the stream missile here. I want to fire it in a pack. Uh, uh, good enough. I'd say good enough. 51 days. Oh boy. <laughs> little Raven coming to life. So, fire starter is... Uh, uh, it is... Uh, I want to take a look at that. Uh, yeah, please cue that repair. We're gonna talk about the assassin and the javelin in a second. Uh, first of all, I think we'll we'll take a look at the blackjack. So blackjack, pretty cool thing. Love it. 
We don't have massive quirks on this guy. It only has a 10% weapon speed and like projectile speed and cooldown modifier. Not really the greatest thing in the world. And yes, I could wait for the light rifle, but I have something that's way better. We have, first of all, armor. So, little blackjack has two ballistic, four energy hard points, and jump jettos. I think I'll I'll drop him. This is already 68 days. Oh boy. Now, in the last mission, or one of the last mission, we found a very nice LB10X cluster shot. And I think this is our sole ballistic weapon that we put in the mag. And then on top of that, a bunch of medium lasers as well. Which we don't really have a lot of right now. Carapo Peppo. Ah are we gonna make this like a like a mini rifleman 3N? With a large laser? I really feel like mediums are the better choice. Because we have a bit of extra heat to work with. Yeah, let's go with that. Do we have ammo for the LBX? We do have ammo for the LBX. So that is 40 rounds. I think two tons is necessary, actually. Um, let me quickly think. 6 compared to 11. I could also go with the double AC2s. You know, going kind of like stock build, blackjack one. Not the field refit one, not the primitive one that we have here. Huh. Double AC AC2 is not bad at all. This is a tier 3 weapon though. Which we will most likely lose. Uh, I don't know. Let's keep the LBX for the moment, alright? And we're gonna go to the market. If there's anything like... <laughs> <laughs> the naval PPC, yeah. Anything like a good medium laser, I think I'd probably take it. We have some short burst tier zero. Well, well, well. I'll take him. I will take him. Let's go short burst all the way. Blah, blah, blah. And another one. So. Oh man, is there half a ton of ammo? There is no ammo for our LBX on the market. I would love to pad it out with half a ton. Alright, we're gonna drop some head armor again, but not all of it. I'm willing to go down to 20. Rest is leg armor. So 42. And then we're gonna put some extra single heat sinks in the mech. Our heat buildup is quite high compared to our cooling. However, we can always opt to not shoot the lasers and just the autocannon instead, and we should be fine. Uh, still pump out a good chunk of DPS. Uh, there's ECM, melee gyro, heat bank. Pirate heat banks are not bad. Giving us a good chunk of heat capacity. This is really good for cooling. Single heat sink pirate. Cools double the amount of a regular single heat sink. Only has half the capacity though. So if you pair that with a bank, you get a lot of value out of these. I think this could be a build. So, let me think. If we put a heat bank in there, one heat bank, which is two tons, and then two of these single heat sinks, we get a heat capacity of 16, and we get a heat efficiency of 0. Uh, 0. 0.3. This would give us 0. 0.4, so this cools more. Actually, we have, we have 0. 0.5 here. Let's get another one of those. Yeah, it, it would be better. It would be better. So, do I do it? Are these exploding? Alright, let, let me see. So, heat capacity is currently 42 plus 4. So, that's gonna be an upgrade here. Um, no, wait, that's the, that's the difference, right? That's the delta that we are applying now, but this is the, the number. Give me a sec. Yeah, okay, so that's the, that's the, the total number in the end. Alright, cool. Let's do some math on this. So, we have 42 and 1.2. Keep that in your mind. 42, 1.2. I'm gonna buy these. I can only have two of them. That's unfortunate. I will buy it anyway, because I believe it's good. Drop that. Drop those. Drop those. Some pirate heat sinks in the leg. Yeah, we have 54 and 1.3 cooling now. So that's good. That totally works. And we have an extra single heat sink, which I would love to have a, a pirate as well. But hey, the pirate stuff, it kind of works. Resilience says 80. Kind of the same thing. Again, lower capacity, but if we have a bank, we don't care about capacity. That's cool. I'll take it. 91 days in the million sea builds. I hope this is worth it. God, all the upgrades here. 
Cool. So, fire starter it is. Take a look at that bad boy. I think I want to drop the flamers all together. Or, like, make it all flamer. He has some options here. Okay, so what's your cooling like? It's really bad. Like, really bad. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm gonna repair this thing. Also, it's not... Ma it is maxed out on armor. Yeah, it is. Alright. So, I'm gonna drop the jets. Because I want this guy to be able to fire. Literally fire a lot. So, flamers on the torso. Could also make this all small lasers and just mediums on the on the sides. Flamers are a ton. Uh... No, 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 no. How do we do this? How do I want to do this? I think it is like medium lasers on the arms. Flamers in the torso. Wow, this is so hot though. How many small lasers do we have? The answer is not a lot. Any smalls on the mark? There are some smalls on the mark. We have short bursts. Ooh. All right, that changes things. I dropped the flamers. I know, they're good. I get the short burst small lasers. Drop it in here. That allows us to put some extra heat sink shenanigans into the mech. So mediums on the arms so that we can take down flying units and then the small lasers on the torso that we can use to destroy enemies right in front of us. Love to see it. And I mean technically all small lasers would be bad freaking tastic heat wise. Do we do it? I want to have something to destroy flying units with this. So, yeah, I'll keep it like that. Um, single heat sinks, one, two, three. Or do we take another one of those heat banks? I think that's probably the case here. So, we have two, one ton over. Good. Looking alright, everybody. Looking alright. I think the higher threshold is gonna be good. We have no jump height anymore, but this guy is, is fine being earthbound. Good. So that's that. The other fire starter. Oh boy. Small lasers, medium lasers, machine guns. I guess. We just repair that thing. And we are good to go. Alright guys, now we have to make a decision. Do we want to keep our friend the javelin? Some jump shenanigans going. SRM spread modifier is massive. Oh, he had the... He had the pirates. I mean, yeah, obviously. That was one of my guys that was already runnable. You know what I could do? I can totally see myself dropping the SRMs. And... Get this in instead. Same amount of missiles. Ooh, more weapon heat, though. Mm -mm -mm. But more damage per second. So these SRM4s have a lower cycle time. Means we can burst the enemies a little faster. Also be a good idea to just run two of these SRMs and get some extra cooling on the mech. Then I will probably be fine here with just taking one bin of ammo. Let's give it a bit more sustain. Yeah, why not? Just that. So, we can cool now. <laughs> God, running around with single heat sinks is just not okay. Oh my god. So guys... I feel like we have a lot of mechs. That means I think I'm gonna drop the assassin. Geared refit. I mean, it's, it's probably the better javelin. It's the same thing, but with 10 tons more weight. Does it mean we're gonna run it? Doesn't have the spread upgrade, which I kind of like. Is that refit worth it? Or do we just don't care and go for bigger mechs like a Shadowhawk that's coming to life soon? Yeah, it's probably gonna take a lot of money to get the engine out of the Javelin and into the Assassin. It's, I'm not gonna do it. No. No, 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 no. We have enough mechs. That's cool. So, I would say... Uh, I mean, we could think about picking up some equipment here. Pirate Laser AMS. Probably pretty good. I don't feel it, though. I, I want to keep my money together. MBS. Mini Blind Special. Mech Saber. Sniper Artillery. Yeah, you guys have, you have some good stuff here. Spiked Fists. I mean, melee early on might be a thing. 
Get some extra armor, we get some structure, we get some punch bonus damage. And the weapon cooldown modifier? Oh, it's higher cooldown, not lower cooldown. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna skip that. So, where to go? There's a stronghold defense contract. Infiltration, demolition, attack and defense. Do I want to play this stronghold defense? If we survive this, we are going to get some goodies, right? So if anything, we're going to go over here to Mentham. And keep in mind, guys, we have a lot of repair time and refit time. So we probably need to wait a little bit until our friends are ready. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So one thing I really quickly want to check. We have an almost empty cicada. It would sell for 1.8 million sea bills, which is good money. But I think I'm going to turn it in for just 1 million sea bills. Lots of reputation and a light rifle tier 4. Goodbye, Cicada. You have been a friend. Good. We we wanna we wanna get there. And mech collector is something that's kinda hard to do. Um yeah, let's go. First mission of the day. Playing. Ooh, clear the logjam. That's a difficulty 15. We might find some medium mechs that we are looking for. Some sea bills. I think damage coverage could be worth it here. So, what's ready? Uh, mission starts in 15 days. If I want to run that Raven, which I totally want to, um, I have to wait. That's fine. I'll do it. So yeah, that's a double fire starter, single... I forgot a thing again. <laughs> there are no pilots to hire here, and I know these guys Thanks are the some me, baddies. Oh god. Oh god. Like that, we have a deal. You're awful. You're <laughs> awful. Oh my god, is it worth going back? We will go back, guys. We will go back. But now, I think I have to deal with what's that atrocity here. Gotta get some better pilots. I need to take care of my crew, which I am completely missing out on. I know. Alright, let's go down here again, because you want to see my sensor locks. Cool. Here's Polly. There's a good chance our targets have split up in order to evade us. The more locations on the map are the most likely areas where we'll find All right. them. Be careful, you, as they have you. many supporters in the area that are more than willing to die for their cause. So we are running about 100 kph. We have two, no, four medium laser, all of them short burst. That's pretty good, and our SRM is ready to fire as well. Come on, give me my remaining Shadowhawk parts. That would be fantastic. So, everything's clear so far. At about 500 meters, Rihanna will tell us if we have our guy or not. Looks like we're at the wrong place, Commander. We're at the wrong place, but I Our will engage anyway because I'm here for salvage. Let's check out the other locations. And that's a Hollander. It's the medium Hollander. And there oh, it goes. Cool. I wouldn't say no to that guy. Really. Having a ballistic carrier early on, it's pretty good. Target acquired. Target destroyed. The bobbing of the Raven is so weird. But the damage output is pretty good. Yeah, it feels awkward. Where's the thing? What? Oh. <laughs> Hello, turret. I've seen you. Yeah, they are more. We probably want to destroy those, so my friends are not turning around and trying to get them. Telling them that they should follow me now. Just ignore that, guys. Form on me. So we're gonna make a wide berth around this here. I don't want to drop into the canyon. You are out of range with your machine guns! Target like, acquired. massively. Like, why are you even trying? This is a 100 meters range thing. Forming oh, there's a you. scorpion. Uh, yeah, let's go. All right. Cannot have an autocannon 5 in my back. So here we go. And again. Good. Target destroyed. Maybe I just didn't see the guy on the sensors. And that was the guy that they shot at. But hey, let's go. 1,000 meters, want to make sure that we don't trigger both bases at the same time, if that is at all possible. So, we gotta trigger the base and then probably pull back a little. Target acquired. Uh, Alright. Let's do some stepping here. Okay. Try to land softly. Ow. Oh, the first steps were good. The other ones, not so much. So we have a J. Edgar. 
And we have a medium mech. Ooh, did you see the snap those PPCs? I did. Okay. This is where we're gonna make our stand. But we have to take these out first. Okay. Get wrecked. Oh, that's a, uh, that's a hunchback. Let's go on the side also. Get that auto cannon away. And we're gonna stay in motion. Whoop. Oh, we got an arm. We're getting slightly hot. Oh, no. That's everybody and their mom. Panther's half dead, though. Should I go for head? All right, auto cannon down. I'm gonna go for Panther now, because that PPC needs to be destroyed. And then tanks! All right, we're gonna try to take the harassers. Okay, bit of chain fire. Hilara carrier. Harasser. Blurp. Okay, guys, please hold out. I'm gonna try to give you some relief. Chain fire kind of works, but that was a little bit too much. Okay, still far. No, 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 no. No, no, no. That was unfortunate. Okay, so what are you, my friend? We're gonna go for arms. Totally. One arm down. My little raven. It's a little too hot. I know. I mean, we can shoot the missiles and then again go for a chain fire attempt. So he has still an ER large. Nice. Okay, so that was a crazy fight. We still, we still have a, we still have a flea locust here. A flea. A flea locust. Nah. Uh, I think I should go for the turret. Might bite us in the butt if I don't. Okay. Target destroyed. God, these SRMs. This guy's running a mask. Oh, they also got a dropship. Oh, Target they got a dropship. No, 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 no. Locus. Crazy. He was taking it. Where would you land? Oh, oh, oh nice. Nice, nice, nice. I am not comfortable with the locus in my vicinity, though. So, we got them all? Now, let's pack it in before their friends arrive. Um, yeah, the friends already have arrived. But I cannot let the locust live. Kill confirmed. Nice. Yeah, I think we're gonna go now. Target destroyed. Totally. We took some damage, but not Target too destroyed. much, to be honest. Oh, another Target medium acquired. mech. Uh, that's the Shadowhawk we were Always talking about. Updated. All guns. Target my target. Probably wanna go for leg, you know, for the salvage. The hunchback? Would also be pretty good. And the Phoenix Hawk is will have a look decent as well. Oh, no. Yo friends! Attack my target. Ay 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 ay. Alright, turn around, show the right side, because that thing is still somewhat intact. Okay. That guy is running an LB10 in streaks. So we got an advanced hawk. Gotta go for center so that I can live. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I need to make sure that I'm not dying here. Okay. We can take a bit of machine gun damage. Yeah. But I think it's time to go now. <laughs> Ooh, my left side also. That's not good. That is not good at all. Let's get out of here, guys. Mm, I do wonder if... Nah, I probably cannot get there, right? Sometimes the circle extends. And I just have to... You know, dive in right here, but I have to move all the way around. Wait a sec. We got jump jets. Maybe our Irby is able to get it done. Oh, this could be the worst or the best idea in the world. <laughs> Trying to to cut close here. Jump jet fuel. Ah, jump jet come fuel. on, Irby! You can do it! Yes! We made it! Alright, good. I'm happy. It could have been really awkward me trying to, to stutter step my way up here and, you know, taking forever to do it. But hey, that went very well first try. Alright. That was a great mission. It had, it had enough challenge to be scary. Um, and it's also giving us a good amount of loot. I will totally take that. Double Shadowhawk parts. 
Yeah, we have to. We are picking so many different Hawks, which I'm not really happy about. But hey, this guy is a potential XL engine. Mmm. All right. Phoenix Hawk as well. Yeah, the Phoenix Hawk as well. Yeah, this guy was running like PPCs and stuff. Star League Relic as a quirk. This guy as well. Huh. It says Punchbot. Okay. Um, I don't want Panther parts necessarily, but we could pick... No, we cannot. We have only three picks left. Never mind. I mean, the flea is for free. That's totally for free. One pick only, I'll take it. Absolutely. Okay. Decent salvage. Total damage, 200,000 C builds. You're looking good. Looking very good. So, the next thing to do is we build the flea. Do we? Flea 40... I don't know if I want that guy. But let's assemble and see what is coming out of here. Hey, there's an engine core. All right, I love to see it. Uh, it also has hearts to pilot. So piloting negative one, narrow profile, but evasion plus one. And then what's that? Full safety override. Top speed plus 30. Evasion plus five. But 100% more damage to armor structure. 100% weapon projectile speed. We have no projectiles. I mean, we could. There's a medium laser here. We could make it like a like light PPC or so. Uh, we also have 25% better cooldown, 50% more heat, 50% more damage output, and 25% less beam duration. What a weird thing. Full safety override. The question stands, do we want that fusion core? Only three days. Yeah, I'll, I'll make a field refit here. Uh, and then we probably put the flea to cold storage so we can mm, finish one of these mech collector cantina missions again. Uh, and as, as I was saying, we have so many different Shadowhawk parts. Our priority should lay lie on the Shadowhawk 2HB though. Because that thing, again, comes with a potential XL. Although I like uh, this one most. Because it has four missile hard points, one ballistic and two energy. It's very versatile as a hawk. As a streak in I don't like the streaks too much, to be honest. Missile velocity enhancement. I wonder what the Starlink Relic work is. I will figure it out. Okay. So, everybody else, get repaired. I want to see if something went critical here. Uh. Yeah, okay. That's okay. So, we are... Huh, we're swapping out a single heat sink and repair a lot. The other guys are fine. That's good. In the question stands, do we play the other mission here? Oh God, it's a defense mission. We probably could. One fast mech and three sniper brawlers are recommended. I know, buddy, I know. Vegas can't be choosers here. Also, we're playing four Torians, which are not really happy to see us. I think I'm going to skip this mission. Yeah, let's stay in good good standing with the independence. <sighs> we hate the Torians. Can we play Battlefield? I, mean, I think we can play Battlefield. There's also defense that is very intriguing because it's for House Liao. I know a lot of people don't like them. But hey, I started here. And that means we can also go to another planet. Check another barracks. Nobody here. Keep it like that and we have a deal. ATM plus two pirates. Uh, not bad, not bad. No engines. Yeah, the stuff here is not really that interesting. Okay, so the flea. Uh, I, want, I, I wanted to put it to cold storage. If we get into money troubles, we can always sell that thing anyway. And I think this is how I should fare with the, the other mechs that I'm getting from the battlefield now. Like the assassin should have been put here instead of uh, liquidated. Uh, anyway, we are here to play a battlefield. All right. Can I play my blackjack? Oh, Devian dislikes us as well. Hmm. Yeah, but now I'm here. I'm gonna do it now. So the Raven still needs some time, but maybe our friend the Jack is ready to go. It is not quite there. But hey, only two days. It's missing the paint job, by the way. That's the thing that we need to fix as well. Yeah, I think I, I'm, I'm gonna play this battlefield and the defense mission, and I think that might be the point where we go back and actually try to find some better pilots. Oh, man. These fools. How dare you being bad? And then also getting injured. 
And no, it was me. Partly. Putting them on the battlefield while they were bruised and, and fatigued and stuff like that. Okay. Let's go, guys. So? It looks like friendlies are already engaged with hostile forces. Mm. Their survival is a right. priority, but there's always safety in numbers in a combat zone. We should do what we can to help them out. I should probably put they my uh, LBX on the left the arm because I want this exact firing fight. pattern here, this weapon group pattern. I think I also want an arm group. Okay, so I have arms here, torso here. Okay. Got it. Sam freaking Turion. Nice. Good mech. Very good mech. So firing pattern here is uh, weapon group one, which is my left mouse button, um, as the first weapon group for the AI to actually shoot the longest weapon first, because they try to cycle through their weapon groups and, you know, try to fire the first weapon group first and then go to the other one, which I think is like real bad AI behavior. I don't know if TT rules change that, but that's what I learned that the base game does. So if you want them to fire their LRMs first, and not run in with their small lasers. You better put those LRMs on weapon group 1 and the other short-range weapons on the later weapon groups. So that they will prioritizing staying at range and actually shoot their main weapons. But that means that my left mouse button now fires a right arm weapon, which I kind of feel Next awkward for my brain. Okay. There we go. They are converging on your position. Brace for hostile We have contact. to destroy 10 units. We run a solid 64 kph. Man, we are already getting into brawler territory. Eh, slow mech. It's decently fast anyway, but I prefer to run 70 to 80 kph on every mech, even my assault mechs, in the late game, you know. When having superchargers and speedy lag actuators and all the good things. Vulcan. Let's go for center or lag. Alrighty, he's almost lagged. I have no clear shot though. Attacking shared target. Yeah, he's coming around here. Where'd he go? Stay here. I wanna lag you. That's good. And you know what? I don't care about that guy, so we go for center and just destroy this fool. So, we got some tonks and some other tonks, and there is a flying unit. Range of my LBX is actually quite high. I would assume that this guy would be dead by now. Okay. What a sturdy helicopter. Holy crap. You know what? Let's sit more upright. It's good for the posture, right? Okay, J. Edgar, as well as a uh, harasser. Wanna go for the harasser first? That thing should pop when I shoot it once. He's had very little armor. Just need to hit properly. Nah, yeah, okay, it's more. The trees are actually helping. And yes, heat-wise, we are we are totally fine. That's not even a problem. Yeah, man, I do like that we have that much, um, that much of a of a heat uh, scale. The threshold is really high thanks to our heat bank. That makes it so that we are not really even getting hot in a single encounter, and we have enough time between the encounters to cool down again. Get wrecked! LBX, baby! Can I change my weapon? My ammo? No, I cannot. New target, Panther. Panther! Give me a clear shot. I hit him barely. Commando coming in as well. Nasty little bugger. Boop, boop, boop. I know. Stay on the commando, because the Panther is currently not on me. Target acquired. Now I can. Target change target. And, oh god, the buildings make it real awkward to fight here. It's really good for those skirmishes. Really, really bad for me. Here, you shot? I don't have bound. it. Oh, careful. 
Yeah, man. What a little striker guy. Sensor sweep detected. Sensor sweep detected. We are down to target, down to two enemies to destroy. There's a flying spider. Moving on Mars target. And what else? Spider link plus another light mech. I was really hoping for some mediums here. Oh, that was a good hit. Let's go for leg. So target destroyed. Never mind, target. dead. Let's target received. Uh. That's ready, spready LBX. Do I want to fight another wave? When you're ready. Yes or no? Maybe. I think I'm going to stay for one more. It's another Centurion. And a Scorpion. Hey, Sent. I'm going to try to pepper you a little bit. I think his build is better against me than mine against him at that range, so we're gonna not trade his. Let's go to cover. I wanna use my lasers as well. He has more long range potential than I have right now. Okay, we dodged it. Good. Guys, where's the attack? Come on. Dodging the missiles again. Rub, rub. Ah, go. Thought he would go more to the right. And that is it. Okay. So, we got some extra Z builds. That's pretty cool. And we got some extra salvage options for Centurion parts. Don't have a lot of salvage negotiated anyway, so. Nah, it's debatable. That was a good idea. Yeah, we're out of here now. Let's go. We did it! Hey, easy! Absolutely easy. I think we could go to 15 plus now. I think 15 to 25 is our sweet spot right now, where we are punching a little bit above our weight, but I think we should be able to. With the blackjack in hand, I think we have a decent amount of damage output. That's really good. It's a slow mech, so as soon as we have the attention of the enemy, it's gonna be hard to get back to safety. But it's possible. Hmm, this is awkward. I don't like the salvage options at all. So if I wanted to get the Centurion part, I had to invest seven and then I have one. Ah, that doesn't feel good, man. That does not feel good at all. I think I'll take the Commando parts for another engine core potentially and another Vulcan part. So we are good here. Alrighty. Yeah, guys. That was our rebuild session. I hope that I can remember until the next time uh, that I want to get some more pilots. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.